Hi, this is Pratima from Planet Physiology. In the next few sessions, we shall learn about basics of immunity. In this part, we shall study definition, classification of immunity, and details about innate immunity. Immunity is defined as ability of body to recognize and defend against invading organisms or toxins that tend to damage the tissues invading organisms may be living or non living in nature based on the time of acquisition of this defense mechanism immune system is classified into two innate and acquired innate immunity is present since birth of a person whereas acquired immunity develops after birth due to exposure of the body to the pathogens now our body may be exposed to the pathogens naturally or artificially that means we are always surrounded by various pathogens if any of these pathogens succeed in entering the body it will activate the immune system so this is naturally acquired immunity in contrast if pathogens are introduced into the body to activate immune system as done during vaccination or immunization process it forms artificially acquired immunity immunity is mainly provided by activation of lymphocytes and so depending upon the type of lymphocytes getting activated and hence the type of response shown by the body to the pathogens immunity is further subclassified into humoral and cell mediated immunity humoral immunity is conferred by b lymphocytes whereas cell mediated immunity is by t lymphocytes artificial immunity also can be mediated either via b or t lymphocytes in both these types when the immune cells in the body are activated to deal with the pathogens it is known as active immunity in contrast when activated t lymphocytes or antibodies are provided to the person to confer the immunity it is known as passive immunity ready made immunity offered to the patient as an emergency treatment now let us study about innate immunity in detail as i mentioned earlier innate immunity is present since birth and it is phylogenetically older type of defense system which is also found in plants fungi insects as well as primitive multicellular organisms it is usually non specific in nature that means it acts against all kinds of pathogens in a generalized manner innate immune response mechanisms act very quickly but the extent of response is comparatively weaker than that of acquired immunity these mechanisms usually form first and second line of defense against pathogens how let us study with the help of examples so the first is presence of various anatomical barriers and their secretions like skin and mucous membrane and their secretions then the cells like different types of wbcs dendritic cells and natural killer cells also confer innate immunity various chemicals like components of complement system and various cytokines released by the cells are the part of innate immunity let us see the first one the barriers all the surfaces of our body whether external or internal are covered either by skin or by the mucous membrane they prevent entry of pathogens into the body also hairs cilia and various secretions like mucus tears saliva etc trap the microbes and help to remove them from the body surfaces natural processes like regular desquamation also removes pathogens from the skin surface hence the loss of these barriers like as due to burns or other injuries lead to infections and even septicemia if microbes succeed to penetrate the physical barrier cells like tissue macrophages and the circulating wbcs immediately detect and remove them for example tissue specific macrophages are present in 
all the barrier tissues like histiocytes in skin kuffer cells in liver and these cells immediately phagocytose the invading organisms they also release various chemokines that attract circulating wbcs which further help in phagocytosis as well as to initiate inflammatory response macrophages not only phagocytose the microbes but also present these antigens to the lymphocytes to activate specific immune response thus they act as antigen presenting cells which are often abbreviated as apc various barriers like skin gastrointestinal tract respiratory tract are also loaded with special cells called as dendritic cells and these cells also act as antigen presenting cells the mast cells and basophils that migrate to the site of infection initiate mainly the inflammatory response this response helps to seal off the site of infection and prevents spread of pathogens another kind of cell that participate in innate immunity is the natural killer cell these cells are similar to lymphocytes but they lack surface receptors for antigens these cells kill the pathogens by osmotic lysis and also by stimulating phagocytosis process now coming to the innate immunity provided by the chemicals in the body secretions like tear and saliva contain lysozymes which are bactericidal in nature if the microbes succeed to reach stomach they are killed by highly acidic gastric juice plasma contains various complement proteins which are activated by antigens entering the blood complement proteins kill these antigens by various mechanisms these different mechanisms exist in our body since birth and protect us from various diseases and all these mechanisms form innate immunity let us have a quick look at the important points of innate immunity innate immunity is present since birth it is non specific in nature and usually acts as first and second line of defense against invading organisms it responds quickly to the pathogens but it is short lasting examples of innate immunity include presence of skin and mucous membrane at the various surfaces different cells like wbcs and natural killer cells acidic ph of gastric juice and bactericidal like lysozymes in tears and saliva so that's all for this session see you in the next part thank you and keep watching if you enjoy my presentations press the like button and share it with your friends for more such videos subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you for watching and see you in the next video